Good morning. We are working on so many things today. I am photographing sourdough buns, sourdough ciabatta. I'm making sourdough bread from a mess up recipe that when I first made my ciabatta dough, I made it too doughy. And so I needed some less flour. So I turned that into bread, photographing my gluten-free starters. So a brown rice starter, cause I bought brown rice now since I made that last video and my buckwheat starter. So the kitchen's a mess. The kids and Luke are all outside. They are, and I'm about to go out there too. We are working on a picket fence around the garden. So it's a crazy busy day, but also really fun because it's really nice and sunny outside. So I've got bread baking, projects happening outside. Kids are all happy playing, so fun day. Starting to crawl backwards, so he keeps starting at this little toy and <laughs> he goes away from it. We'll go back to it, buddy. Oh, hello. <laughs> I just love music. You're going to end up going backwards. <laughs> got some crusty bread. This is my new absolute favorite. Baking bread in my Dutch oven, my cast iron Dutch oven. Oh my word, it makes it about 10 times as delicious. This is of course sourdough. It's got a real hard crust. And then here are the sourdough buns I'm experimenting with. They're really similar to my rolls, only they have egg in it and a few other slight differences. Then we got my brown rice starter back here. I'm hoping to let it bubble up a little bit more on this hot stove before taking the, the photos and then my buckwheat starter and we almost demolished an entire loaf of bread at breakfast time so just wanted to clean up from breakfast and hopefully then get outside daniel you flipped all the way around are you going to start growling i mean i don't think just yet but you're really trying to move you gotta figure out how to get those knees under you. You abandoned your toy. Maybe I should just hand you a wooden spoon like I do most of my babies. A wooden spoon and some cup measurements. Those are always fun, aren't they? <laughs> Look at this ciabatta. I'll have to cut into it to really know how well it turned out, but it feels good. I'm hoping that this is the winner. I usually have to try recipes several times to get them right. a lot of pickets. Here comes mama, checking in on her babies. There's the little girl, the little doe. Here comes Blair to see what's going on. There she goes, look. There she goes. So sweet. Oh, mommy's not having it right now. Not having it. Micah. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't scare the birds. Don't scare the chickies. Two-year-olds are not good with baby animals. We're going to have to get out of here. You guys ate all of that ivy. I mean, every last leaf in about two days flat. I think you guys would clean up our woods so fast. Those are the babies. They're so little. And here's our Americana pullets. They've grown big enough to put out now with the goat. You guys are pretty birds. All different colors. All right, and here's the sourdough hamburger buns. I'm gonna let them cool quite a bit before I cut into them. And then we'll be having hamburgers for lunch. I hope that they are good, obviously, so I can photograph them and put them on the blog. Those are cedar tone boards. That's all Home Depot has anymore for like, the, green, for like green boards. Uh-huh. It's, they're treated, but they're, they're used some kind of like cedar color now instead of green boards. Oh, they're, so the one buys or whatever? Yeah. Okay. I guess the difference would be the post in the in the oh, window. Wow. Just, start Just start adding them on. This looks good. good enough, I guess. I mean, What'd you did you have some leftover that doesn't look like one buys. No. 
I didn't have any. Well, it's... So I just used two by fours that I had. It's pretty light. It's not too bad. And I didn't get the Z quite right, but... I think it looks good. It. Yeah, it looks really good. It, I, somehow, like, I traced it. But somehow I just didn't get the angle right. So it didn't butt up exactly right, and I don't know what I did wrong. Well... The same thing happened with both, so... Huh. Well, it looks really good. Hey, Micah, can you show Mommy the gate? Let's see it. Is that how you shut it? Ooh, it latches. How nice. I like it. We've got bikes everywhere. You can start you off, buddy. Alright, well, he has all the posts set, and then lots of two by fours on, and then some pickets just to see. This is, of course, all gonna be painted white. Ruth's the best employee ever. I believe you're right. And then she just started actually doing it. Ruthie, you're gonna be a good employee someday, aren't you? Or or business owner. You go above and beyond. Perfect. So if you want to find the area, it's just six times two and, and three times two add together. So it would be six plus six plus three plus two. So we that. Right? Yeah, so we know the whole thing is 40 by 26. And then you'd have to do the square footage for all the boxes. Add them up. And, and then, then subtract it from the other one. And then also there's another depth. There's another thing you want to consider is the depth that you want to put. Oh, good point. See how we're making this um, bed that goes from the fence over here and then we're gonna have it go all the way over there and then on this side all the way over to dad's fence. So what you could do is pick out the leftover pretty bricks that would extend it all the way over there. This is gonna be my big flower bed. So let me show you, come here. Here's a bunch of random stones, stones and bricks dad found. I can turn them on their side. Well, you could turn them on their side if they were all on their side, but they're not all on their side. The ones with the holes are fine, but I don't like how they don't match with the other ones. Oh, here's some more too, Ruth, right here. So for this picket fence, it was a really, really simple project. It wasn't something that we had a plan for. We just, I mean, we had a basic idea of what we wanted to do. We took treated, I believe we took treated pine posts and we put them every eight feet. Then we used one by four treated pine. You could also use cedar. It's just a little bit more expensive and we knew that we were going to be painting it. If we were going to be staining it, we would have used the cedar. And we strung those along the posts. Now, the thing is, is any time you're making a fence, the ground is going to change even if slightly. Like this area is pretty flat 
but it does slope in some areas. And so what we did is we just kept measuring from the ground. That way the fence would slope with the ground. We put the stringers about four inches up from the ground and then I believe around 24 inches all the way around. Then we just started putting in the pickets. We found these, I believe at Home Depot, for a dollar a piece. We ended up using, I believe, 400 pickets for our garden area. We did a two and a half inch spacing between pickets. Now I've seen several different spacing options. I like them just a little bit closer together than some that I saw. And we went with the four foot tall pickets. So we have a four foot tall fence all the way around the garden. And then Luke built me two gates. He just used two by fours and connected them in a Z pattern. And then we just kept the spacing of the pickets that we used for the fence. Now a few issues that you could run into whenever building a picket fence is when you get toward the end of a, of a row, the spacing might not be perfect. So the last eight feet or so, or the last couple feet, start spacing them out so that it will work out so that you don't get to the end and have like an inch or something. 